Iferai, and Iferai is a character in the first book uh, who had a uh, kind of a supporting role. Uh, she doesn't have a, a big role in the second book either, but she is the lead character in the third book. Why is this so? Well, you'll just have to wait to find out. Mm -hmm. But for purposes of uh, our reading tonight, um, she is the character that we're going to be focusing on. And now I don't have any sound, do I? Just project your so voice. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. All right. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> well, yeah, be, be, be thankful for crying out loud. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it like this, and if I get carried away, uh, it won't be any different than when I'm at home. Now it works. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> ben Paolo didn't have these problems. <laughs> ben Webb isn't having these problems downtown, right? So anyway. Um, this particular section I'm going to read to you from uh, has a lot to do with Leifer's uh, principal role in this storyline. Um, she is the sorcerer's daughter. She's our Cain and Rye's daughter. Uh, she's had a very tough life. She has a very bad father. Uh, he is not particularly interested in her uh, at all, and she has no magic on top of everything else. So she's suffering all kinds of identity crises here. But she performs a very deep and important service in the third book. And without telling you what that is, I will tell you that uh, the section I'm going to read to you from involves a rescue mission. She is the principal architect of this rescue mission. Uh, but it is in a place that she's never been to and doesn't even particularly want to go. So she enlists the help of a man named Emmerich Court. Emmerich Court is a shapeshifter. Now, why? Well, because it fits the story, that's why. But also because um, I'm interested in uh, characters who have uh, either tremendous powers or tremendous faults. Uh, he has both. Uh, shape-shifting, you will never look at shape-shifting quite the same after this book, I trust. Um, he is struggling with the fact that he has the power to be anything he wants to be. But if you stop to think about what that means, you'll see right away where the difficulties might lie. And he is already suffering a tremendous amount of pain and emotional fatigue from the fact that he is not entirely in control of his own shape-shifting. Um, and as a result, he has found that the way to treat this is by tethering to somebody who's grounded. The person he's agreed to help, Leah Farai, is the person that he will tether to. It is an invisible emotional bond uh, by which they are linked through their minds and can see and talk to each other through their, well, you know, talk to each other through their, in their minds, but they can also see through each other's eyes if the other person allows it. Uh, the difficulty here is that Leifer, if uh, Emmerich is having problems, has to rein him back in, troll him back in like he's a fish on a hook. And as this section will tell you, uh, you'll see a little bit about what the problem might be. 